Barbara, why did you buy this? <laughs> you were not paying attention. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, <laughs> we have another haul. Yes. And this one is a collective haul. So I have some stuff from Amazon. I have some stuff from Marshalls. I ain't even gonna lie. I have this bag and I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. I don't know why. We just have a random white bag. So... We're going to be surprised together. But before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So you know, every time I upload, I do lots of makeup videos, hauls, tutorials, reviews. Also do some hair, some nails, some fitness, everything related to beauty. So if you want to see what I've picked up in this most recent collective haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're going to start with the stuff that I got from Marshalls. The first thing I picked up, and this is something I, <laughs> I already have this in my collection, but I picked up a different shade. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. So this is not new, but I was able to get it for $13. And I picked up the shade 510W. I picked this up because I got a tan and I'm a little darker. And the shade that I have is way too light. So I picked this one up because I felt like it would be a good mixing shade or be able to wear it on its own whenever I am dark enough. Right now, my tan's kind of fading. I can tell by my little stripes <laughs> from my KT tape. So we're fading a little bit. This would probably be too dark right now. But summer is just starting, so this is going to come in clutch. Up next, I picked up this set of organizers. This was $10. It says it's multi-purpose, but they show them in the kitchen. But we all know I'm going to use these for my makeup storage. I'm trying to figure out a better way to store my palettes. I don't think this is going to have anything to do with that. But I do have some items that I have that I want to be able to stack that I can't right now so i don't know i just got this because i'm always looking out for these whenever i can find them on sale because you can never have enough and you can use them all over the house but i mainly bought them for my makeup organization this is going to be random so <laughs> just pulling stuff out as i go i also bought a set of nails did i get this from marshall's maybe i got this from walmart i don't know but these are my favorites the impress well one of my favorites, I should say. The Impress Medium Length Press-On Manicures. This is the one where you don't need glue. Same as these, you just stick them on. They have the little glue tabs. These are a, yeah, you can kind of see that. They're a purple ombre, which purple is my favorite color. And then this kind of confetti pink and purple and different colors at the bottom. I think I have these, and so I don't know. I always, if I see something that I know I would wear regularly, I buy more than one, so I just thought, I probably got these from Walmart. Walmart is where I find them the cheapest, so if I find something I like, I get them at Walmart or I try to get them on sale at Ulta. And before y'all ask, on my lips, today I have on, what lip liner? Juvia's Place Scorpio Liner and my Rare Beauty, where did I put her? Hold on. This is the Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Joy. So this is the kind of orange one. And I picked this shade, well, backtrack. It was the only one they had in the store. I swatched it and I was like, you know what? This is gonna be good because it is not a color that you have in your collection. I normally stick to nudes or darker nudes. I just got a couple of reds recently, but never anything really that has this much of a pop of color. And I thought it would be perfect for spring, summer. It is starting to wear off a little bit in terms of the shine because it was a lot glossier earlier. But I just drank out of a bottle of water and there was like almost no transfer, which I did not expect. So a lot of people have been giving these a bad rap, but first impression, I kind of like this. It does have a cooling sensation. But I don't mind that. I'm just worried when it dries to the stain, are my lips going to look dry? That's the only thing. I did put some lip 
serum on underneath so hopefully it'll combat that but that's what's on my lips y'all ask sometimes so i wanted to go ahead and put that out there next i picked up this milani make it last sunscreen pretty sure i got this on amazon because i suddenly went into this mode of i need to have setting sprays that have sunscreen in them because i plan on being in the sun in the sun this summer and i've been working really hard on my dark spots i feel like they're getting a lot better and I don't want to undo the work that I've already done. I will not reapply sunscreen on my face, especially if I have makeup on and I'm out. So this is the perfect way to do it. I picked up this one and I picked up a few other ones too. Probably showed those already in another haul. I don't know. But I mainly got these to bring with me whenever I'm out and I need to reapply because I am very bad at that. And I've heard that this one works really well and it doesn't disturb your makeup. So... Hopefully that will be the case for me. It says keeps color from fading and settling into creases. So y'all already got me. It says it locks your makeup in place for 16 hours. This is good. Next, I picked up a pair of lashes. I got these on Amazon and I got these because there is a wig influencer that I watched that said these were her favorites and it reminded her of extensions. These are the Kiss Sister Nature Fluffy and Wispy 100% Natural Hair Lashes in, I believe the name is Savage. I think I remember that from when I ordered them. Sage. Sage, there you go. Um, so this is what they look like. You can see these, they look a lot bigger than I thought they would. Like, these would probably put what I have on my eyes to shame. But I've been trying to find, I want to start wearing lashes more and I want them to be bigger. I don't care. I used to feel some kind of way about it and oh, I want them to look natural. I've been using Latisse for my lashes and my Grande Lash. My lashes are doing well. So if I'm putting on lashes, I want you to see I got on some lashes. I'm not doing this little, oh, is that a lash or is that? No, it's a lash. It is definitely a lash. So these I think are going to be perfect. I don't know that I could pull these off for like an everyday. I feel like I need to have makeup on when I wear lashes. So these will probably be one of my glam pairs, but a lot of people wear big lashes and they don't care. That's not my journey to each their own, but these will be worn with makeup. We have some more lashes. These are all the same, but I bought these on Amazon. These are five boxes of the I Envy Extension Curl L Curl Lashes. So these are in the style KLEC07. These are my favorite lashes to wear. As you can see, they are very like this. I could get away with not wearing makeup with and feel like it wouldn't look crazy. They're very wispy. They're not too long. These are the easiest I have found so far that I can put on with no issue. And I like how like these are the same style, but I feel like they look different. So it's almost like they have a really real look to them because it's not so uniform across like they each pair looks different so i can appreciate that for something that looks more natural and realistic and i've only found these in a beauty supply store so when i saw them on amazon i picked up some extras okay apparently i went on a lash kick these this you know <laughs> I guess I thought I was going to maybe wear this with um, without wearing makeup. This is the Eyelore Pro Magnetic Magnetic Eyeliner and Lash System. These are also another pair of very natural, wispy, sorry, wispy looking lashes. But these are the magnetic ones and these have 10 magnets across. When they first started making magnetic lashes, they only had like five and I had trouble getting those to stay or being able to reuse them. So I feel like this is going to be a lot more sturdy and I like that it has the felt tip liner in here with that. So I don't know where I got this from. Probably Walmart, I think. But I'm going to be trying these soon because I think this style would be good for every day with no makeup. Next, I picked up. OK, so I don't know if it's up. <laughs> Y'all know how bad I am with what order my, my hauls and stuff go up, my videos. But I picked up a bunch of individual lash, not individual lashes, but clusters. And so I'm on Amazon and watching all these YouTube videos of how to do lash extensions at home. And so this was recommended. This is a cluster lash glue and a lash sealer by the brand B&Q Lash. 
I got this on Amazon and I think this is kind of like the Lashify um, or is it? No, Falscara. Falscara uh, system where you have the seal that you put on and you brush it and then you put the lashes underneath and then you have the bond to put on top. So this is a two set system. So you have your lash cluster, cluster lash glue, which says it has a strong hold and it does have that little tiny mascara brush, same as the falscara. And then this is the overnight sealer for long-term retention. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting this. I'm gonna definitely have to read how this goes because this is actually, this looks like a black liner. So it's a liquid, not sure. Hopefully this came with some instructions, Lord. Step one, bond, cluster lashes instantly step two seal the glue longer but where do you put that though i don't know if you put it under or over yeah because the first part only gives you 48 hours and then this is supposed to go longer i don't know i guess we're gonna see because i did the falscara one and that only lasted me like two days are you not supposed to wear makeup with that because I wore makeup and i thought it was supposed to be fine but the minute i go in and start trying to take my eye makeup off the lashes come off with it. And I thought it was not supposed to do that. I didn't use, I think I just used water and they started loosening up. So I don't know, y'all let me know because if that's the case, I'm never getting lash extensions and all of this is a waste because y'all know I love eyeshadow. I'm not gonna not wear eyeshadow for some lashes. Up next, I have the L'Oreal Glow Lock, Glow Lock Illuminating Base primer y'all know i told y'all this was one of my favorites and then i realized they don't make it anymore so good old amazon i was able to find it now i know it's probably risky to buy stuff on amazon like this because like what could be in here right or maybe it's expired half my collection <laughs> half my collection is probably expired like what are we talking about here so i don't know i just know i had fell in love with this and then I panicked because you can't buy it anymore. I found it on Amazon, so now I have a backup. Up next, we have an eyeshadow palette. And y'all, I gotta stop letting stuff sit because honestly, I remember I bought it, but I haven't touched it. And I bought this a while back. This is the Shroud Cosmetics Moonfall eyeshadow palette. So I don't remember, was this a pre-order? I don't even remember the deal. But the color story... <laughs> Yes, indeed. Look at these colors. I feel like this is kind of giving fall more than it is spring, but y'all know I do what I want. And I could easily wear these greens. I could wear this purple. I just think this is such a gorgeous, grungy palette. And y'all know I love grungy shades. Like, I want shades to be dark. I want them to punch me in the face when I wear them. And it looks like this palette is going to do that. So I need to bring this upstairs and use it because let's do some swatches real quick. I gotta see with this green. I wanna swatch the shimmers because those are my favorite. We already know. But I need to bring this, ooh, is that a duochrome? Y'all see, I don't even remember. Do these have duochromes in them? What's happening? This is the four shimmer shades here. So you can see super pigmented, shiny shades. I'll go ahead and put these right here gorgeous kind of silvery purple always love me a good green Ooh, look at that i feel like i haven't done an eyeshadow look with a shade like that in a while Ooh, that blue look at how pigmented these are i mean shiny shades you always kind of can do well right okay let's check the mattes real quick purple oh okay so i'm gonna try to oh, that blue that rebirth in the middle wow Okay, all of these right now, just off first swatches, how they're picking up. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So opaque. Okay, let me see if I can get this on here right. So that's that green. Oh, yes. Like when these. Look at that. Oh, yeah. These shades are beautiful and I think they pair so well together. 
Why haven't I used this yet? Okay, I need to do this. I need to use this real, real soon. These shades are very flaky. I have a mess on my desk right now, which I did not see when I was swatching them, but it's okay. Wipe it right up. Yes, those mattes are a little tiny bit flaky, but you saw the pigment, pigment that went down with them. So I would say shades like that, you have to tap your brush off to get the excess off because otherwise you will have eyeshadow all over your face or do your eyeshadow first and then wipe off the fallout and then do your makeup. But I'm excited about that color story for sure. I have another eyeshadow palette that I also got from Marshalls and this was only $13. This is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals eyeshadow palette. When this first came out, y'all know I wasn't checking for it. I got enough neutrals, but you put it on sale and it all of a sudden looks like something I need to have. Make it make sense. So this is what the packaging looks like. I've really been into like this warm kind of beige tan and white aesthetic and it's probably going to be, I'm going to have this in my house. I feel like I'm going to have it in my house. I'm too excited. So this is what the palette looks like. I just want all the shades of neutral and to look clean but warm and homey at the same time. And I feel like that's the aesthetic that this is giving. I have used this and I really like it a lot. Like I don't feel bad about picking this up. This I've had upstairs with me. You can see I've used this shade a lot. Like I pretty much stay right here and then I'll put this on my lid or I'll dip into one of these. But I've been using this just for like a super quick throw on and go kind of neutral shade, throw something in my crease kind of situation. But the shades perform well. This is a good Morphe palette. I know some are better than others, but this is a good one and I'm happy to have it. This next batch of stuff is a little random, but I had a coupon for CVS for 35% off, I believe, my whole purchase. And so I had no plans, but you know how stuff happens. I have always loved e.l.f. brushes. I know people talk about how great high-end brushes are, but e.l.f. has just done it for me and I've been fine with it. So I use my 35% off to pick up a bunch of e.l.f. brushes, which is cheaper than when e.l.f. has a sale, I'm pretty sure. So I also had like um, extra care bucks and all that stuff. So I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight e.l.f. products and I paid like $20. And the brushes are normally like five, six, seven dollars. So I think I came out on top. We'll just say that. So first thing I picked up, I picked up two of the 16 hour camo concealers, one of the regular and one of the hydrating. I used up a whole tube of this. And then I was upset because I thought I had backups of the shade that I used the whole tube of, and I did not. So both of these are in the shade Deep Cinnamon. And even though it says they're the same shade, I don't know if I'm tripping, but I feel like they don't look the same. I'm going to go ahead and open them. Because I like this shade for if I want to only put concealer under my eyes and not do much other makeup. Or sometimes if I just want to spot correct. Although this looks a lot lighter than what I remember because I've done deep cinnamon and there was another shade, but I can't remember the name of it and it was a little bit lighter. So I just feel like these don't look like the same shade at all, which I did not expect that. So this one is the hydrating. This one is the regular. That does not look like the light, sh the same shade. And you cannot tell me. I don't care. Elf, what you say? You cannot tell me. So let's see what the hydrating is giving because I would love to use the hydrating under my eyes but I didn't I thought I had it and I didn't yeah that is not the same shade interesting so that is the shades right there this one is the hydrating this one is the matte one can y'all see that that's different yes you can definitely see that so what ingredients did they put in it to make them different and why because I wanted the same shade. We're gonna have to see how that works. I mean, I'm gonna still use them. They're both deep enough. I just wasn't expecting them to be different. So this is interesting for me. The other products I picked up are all brushes. So I got one or two of these, two or three of these. <laughs> two of their contouring brushes. I have this. And it's actually upstairs on my vanity and I've been using it and I am absolutely loving it. Like I was like, 
I've been using all these other brushes trying to do my cream contour and always feel like it gets just too big and muddy real fast. And this has a super tapered, narrow, yeah, this thing is perfect. Like it's so narrow that it's perfect to just go in and chisel right where you want. So I'll put the line where I want and then just kind of blend up so that it doesn't go down and make it look like I have a damn five o'clock shadow or something. And I also feel like this works really well for like my putty bronzers because I bought the, I think I threw that away already. I'm gonna have to check. Oh no, I didn't, but it's in my other, okay. I'm gonna have to retry it with this brush. I bought the ColourPop bronzer and I could not find a brush to make it work and I don't like using my fingers. And so I put it in my bin to talk about of my favorites and fails or I call them stash and trash. And that was going in the trash because I was just like, I don't like this. But now, since I have this brush, I might be able to get it to work better. So we may have to revisit that. I also picked up two of the e.l.f. concealer brushes. Love these. Started using it again. And I was like, why am I spending so much money on other concealer brushes when this does the job perfectly? So got two more of those. I also picked up their Complexion Duo brush. This is a concealer and foundation brush. So concealer smaller down here, foundation up here. Love having brushes like this to travel with because it's less to carry. And I have one, but I didn't have a backup. So I got another one. And then I also got this Putty Primer Applicator, but I plan to use this for like liquid blushes and bronzers is the plan. I don't know why you need to have this little scoop thing on there. I don't know like who actually scoops out their primers like that. Like just, I don't know, whatever. But I feel like mm, that might be a little big. I don't know, we'll see. But I didn't have this one, I don't think. So I just grabbed it. Most of the time when I go to CVS, I see the old brushes, but I don't see these new ones. So that's another reason why I was excited and grabbed so many, but I've used most of these before and know I love them, so I thought it was a perfect time to stock up. I also spent two hours yesterday washing 45 brushes. I'm trying to keep telling myself every time, don't let it get that bad, wash your brushes like once a month, but I don't. I just grab new ones and then put those in a bin and then the next thing you know, we got a two hour job on Sundays. And I use all the stuff people say this goes faster. I got one of those little spin brush things that you dip in, all that crap. It was just a lot. And they were very dirty and stained and I want them white and clean the way they come when you first get them. So it took a few washes, but I got it all done. This white bag, I don't know why it's a plain white, but this is from the cosmetics company store. <laughs> I kind of thought that's my, that might be what it was, but I just, you're used to seeing the sign on it and there's no logo. I might feel some kind of way about that. I don't know. So I picked up some stuff. I think I just had some free time to kill and decided to go up there. Yeah, as these are drying down, you can see even more. Those are not even close to the same shade. I can't believe they did that. That's the hydrating one. That's crazy. Anyway, so this was a free gift. This is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foaming Cleanser and purifying mask. What skin type is this for? Normal to combination. Okay, so I can use this. When I use oily skin products, baby, your skin's not oily no more, stop it. It literally sucks the life out of my face and I don't love that feeling for me anymore. I used to when I was oily, but now no. So this one I'll be able to use and I'm gonna keep it. Next, I picked up a highlighting powder from Bobbi Brown. This is the, it just says highlighting powder. This is in the shade Afternoon Glow. Where is my tweezers? Um, I can't lie and say I remember what it was about this shade that made me want to pick it up. But let's see if I get the feels. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is such a gorgeous like rose gold kind of shade. Let's go ahead and swatch her. I love, this is like the shimmer brick kind of. Yeah, see that's the kind of, sh oh man, that is pretty. What I have on today is a little more gold and I'm realizing I'm probably gonna declutter it. It's the, um, I'm seeing it, Physician's Formula one that they have, but it's like 
more yellow than I thought. I don't love that for me. It don't look bad, but it's just, it's not my favorite. This kind of shade is my favorite. And that's why I picked that up. Because she's gorgeous. Next, another free gift that I got was the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix. I love this stuff. I love every single time I get it because I do use this religiously. I alternate between a retinol under eye cream I have and then just a regular under eye cream. And I always have a night one and a day one. So love this one. I also picked up some lashes from MAC. These are the style B10. I just think these are so cute and wispy and I think these would be perfect for every day. A little on the long side, but I think the flare and just everything about these, I don't know. And they also kind of look, they don't look super black. They kind of look like they're a little brown. And I think I paid $5 maybe for these or $4 and they're normally 15. So every time I'm in there and I see a style like this that I like, I go ahead and grab them. Okay, I forgot I had this already, but now I don't feel bad because the other one is in Texas. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Superb. I showed this in my cosmetics company store haul that I did for my birthday in Houston. And then I got here and I bought it. Or maybe I bought it here. I think I bought it here first and then forgot and bought it in Houston. But I left it in Houston, so now I have one here too. So this is what it looks like. And you know what? Tell me these don't look the same. <laughs> these look very, very similar. I'm trying to get it to show. There you go. These look very similar. Let me go ahead and swatch it. The MAC one might be a a tiny bit more bronze rose gold uh, let's put her right here yeah it's a little more gold a tiny tiny bit versus this one is a little more champagne okay that makes me feel a little better they're not exactly the same but love the finish of both of them and we're not gonna make excuses I just wanted it it is what it is Next, I picked up the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I buy these every single time I find my shade because you can't always find your shades. So I have different shades of this and I wanted to have, I love the foundation. So I wanted to have more shades so that I can wear whenever I'm more tan, less tan, etc. And I don't think I had seen this shade before. So let's see if I can go ahead and swatch it. I have... The problem, why is it, oh, we gotta lock it. Um, I have the, yeah, this is a good shade. Soft matte, I think I have two of these. Yes, I do, three of these. <laughs> Please don't tell me. Okay, good. So this is in 10.0 Chestnut. Then I have 11.0 Dusk, which I know is dark. And now I have 10.5 Mocha. So that is what she looks like. So this will, ooh, I love that shade. If y'all know me, my wanting to show, want my shade to be a little bit darker than me, and that undertone like this is, baby, you coming upstairs. I've been sitting on you all this time. Yes, I think this is the perfect shade for me right now with my in-between summer color, and I love the undertone of this. I do like my foundation slightly red because I balance it out with powder, and concealer if I need to, but that, mm -hmm. she's perfect. We have some more lippies. I picked up, I've talked about how much I love this formula. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick, Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. I picked up Queen Bee and Making Moves. Now I'm not gonna lie, I need to check my collection because I might have Making Moves already, but Queen Bee was one of the first ones that I bought and then I don't know why, I got rid of it because I decided I didn't like cool tones and I was never gonna wear it. And now I'm back on cool tones and all the tones. So I was like, you know what? I want that back in my collection. So super, super cute, cool toned, kind of pinky purple. But yeah, I did not like shades like this for a long time. And now I'm just like, I don't know. I used to just really not want to draw attention to my lips and now I don't care. I do not care and I want to make sure that I have a lipstick that matches the look that I'm going for. 
So you can see right there, she is a very cool toned pink. And I think that would look so good with a brown liner. Making moves. I'm, I'm not going to swatch this one. God, that's a gorgeous shade. I'm not going to swatch this one because if I do have it already, I'm going to put it in a giveaway. But that's just like my gorgeous everyday shade. And so that's why I picked it up. But I'm pretty sure I've picked it up before. So I'll try to put a note on the bottom of the screen if I remember to let y'all know if I have it. Next, I picked up a Smashbox lip gloss. This is in the shade Traffic Jam. I think I was just in a mood. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> so this is like a fuchsia kind of pink, but it has some gold sparkles in it. I hope you guys can see those sparkles. Let me see if I swatch it. Swatching probably won't help. I also don't remember how opaque this is. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm putting that on right now. Look at that color and that shine. It almost looks kind of orange, then pink, then like a little bit of red. Let's put some on because yes, right now I do feel like my lips are not looking as plump. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Well, that just took this lip to a whole different level, but it's weird. It looks red, but right here, it looks super pink. I don't know, but this is cute and it kind of helps. Oh yeah. Now that kind of helps pull in the gold from my highlighter. All right. Not mad about that one. Why am I acting like these were gifts? I swatched it in the store and I bought it. So obviously I wanted it. Up next, I picked up an Estee Lauder Brow Now Brow Defining Pencil. I'm always going to try out eyebrow pencils. Y'all know I do my brows. It does not matter. I don't leave the house without doing my brows. Please don't tell me. Y'all, I got to sharpen this. Barbara, why did you buy this? <laughs> you were not paying attention. Okay, this is what it looks like. It looks like a lip pencil. And you legit have to sharpen this. Now, I don't know that I have ever seen a brow pencil that you have to sharpen. And I don't know how I feel about it. Why would you do that? Oh man, I don't know how I feel about that. It's too late now, but it does come with a spoolie on the other end, so at least that's good. But why would you do that? Gel pencil, lasts up to 12 hours, water and humidity resistant, close cap tightly after each use, meaning it's gonna dry out. But I don't know why I did that, but I'll use it. Next, I have a couple hair products. This is a tool that I think I've shown in a video. If not, you'll see it in a video. I decided to pick up the Beach Waver. I picked this up mainly because since I hurt my shoulder, I was really having trouble like getting to the back of my hair to curl it. And so this does all the work for you. You clip your hair into this little clip right here, and then you push the button and it rotates whatever direction you want it to curl. So I got this for like 40 or 50 bucks. They were having a sale on their website and I thought, you know what, go ahead and try it. I used it on a wig. I haven't used it on my hair yet. I used it on extensions. That's the video that you saw, the um, balayage extensions. I used it there. And I like it a lot. So glad that I got it. Even more that I got it, got it at a discount. But I think it was worth it. They also gave you this brush, which I think is like a detangling. I think it's detangling, but the only thing is it has the wire bristles like a wet brush. But then it also has the hard bristles. So maybe you can use it when you're drying your hair. Kind of like a round brush situation. And then they also gave this root therapy scalp massager this all came with it i did not pay extra for this i love these things i don't usually scratch my scalp oh i like this one normally the ones i have have that little round circle that you have to hold on this one you can put your fingers through oh i love these things yes so this will be going upstairs in my shower all right guys so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i just circled back i went and checked my collection and i do have that lipstick so making moves will be put in my box of goodies that i collect for giveaways i'm glad i did not open that thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video if you enjoyed it 
please give it a thumbs up comment below and let me know if you have any of these products what you'd like to see in an upcoming video i love hearing from you guys and if you're new i hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button i will see you in my next video bye it's